to uh, to my video. It's Sandy Art Sylvia Grychuk here. This is part of um, Film Team Against Virus uh, series, and with the hashtag Stay Home and Make Art. So this is just basically to keep you a bit distracted. Um, I actually do art not for my mental health to. Uh, kind of forget about the news and reality, which is very difficult for um, uh, every each of us. I hope you're staying healthy and staying safe and you enjoy your little bits uh, doing little things at home. So I want to do today our journal spread uh, in my new journal from uh, Finber. Uh, I love it because it's got watercolor paper inside and uh, actually I will be doing mixed media on it but I will try this uh, uh, watercolor paper too. Uh, I'll be using also the beautiful tissue paper uh, by Finbar New One, which I love. And I'll be using some AB Studio uh, papers uh, from collection Never Never Neverland, um, which is beautiful kind of um, red and kind of pinkish botanical collection and also something new coming to Finber uh, to Finber to AB Studio um shop it's my design my I designed some chipboards uh which I I think I will use in this project too so uh I will start with um gluing to those pages um gluing some just some um uh, some pieces of paper um, I'm using here, let me just grab my 3D matte gel, which I love from Art Basics. I love, um, I always use Finbus, oh, that's brand new, Finbus um, mediums. They are fantastic quality. So, um, I'll just glue some because I like the background of vintage book pages or craft paper. I like that kind of warm brown. Um, and I wanted to mix it today with this beautiful papers from AB Studio. So uh, we'll be using paints and different things. So I just want to Make sure I have them right here. Okay. And these are letters F for a reason because my project today is actually Miss Frida Kahlo. I think my fairy will be kind of in a Frida style. That's why the flowers are just perfect, that collection for this. Um, but we'll see. Might change concepts. You never know. <laughs> you never know. So basically that's what I will do for now. And now I will add some heavy body gesso just to blend the papers together. My gesso is almost finished. I have a second jar, so not to worry. I just, um, I know it's very hard to motivate, at least for me. Even to make art, I have more time. I'm at home with the kids. I'm working from home, so I do loads of stuff during the day work related. But even though in the evenings I still have time, um, but sometimes I just find it even hard to, uh, I don't know if you have the same too, because all the sad news coming through to motivate myself to do something. But we, I, then I feel like I really have to. Um, to keep myself um, healthy mentally as well as physically and those groups and artists all over the world are doing 
fantastic jobs making an effort to kind of support um, each other and other people as well. Um, hold on, I just grabbed the paint. I grabbed the paint, uh, the impasto paint here. It's the linen one. They are very thick, creamy acrylics. Um, but I love their kind of warm tone. So like I said, we just need to survive it. The better times will come. Uh, we can't give up. Um, just try to stay healthy and those little things really matters I think at least to me. That's looking great. Already. So now I will add um, some of the tiger orange, which I absolutely love. That's a bit much. Um, tiny bit of inks that's actually the Liron inks let it dry Okay, so all is dry now and I kind of forgot to add the tissue paper. <laughs> But you know, the tissue, beauty of the tissue paper is that you can actually add it anytime because it is transparent. So it will, whoop, it will nicely blend in with the background. And maybe something here. Um. I don't know if you hear in the background, my daughter is playing in the bath. Her dad is there. Um, just practicing her bubbles from swimming class. <laughs> she actually wears the mermaid tail in her bath. <laughs> Why not? And here on the side, I show you, I prepared a mixture of uh, two paints. This is the jade and the mint <laughs> i just blend them together because i wanted something in between those and when you blend them together it's this is my perfect shade of the turquoise so i will just um kind of go over this and it will reveal some of the things at the back but it will show through i just love that orange tiger orange with that mint, I think it's really, really pretty. Whoopee. 
see. I'm putting my notebook in there. So it's really, I love how it turns out. And the um, silicone brushes, look at my brush. Uh, silicone brushes, which uh, the paint doesn't stick to them if you kind of peel it <laughs> well, are just perfect for this effect of like scraped paint. And now we dry it. And then I will come in with some of my chipboards. Um, but firstly, I want to just outline, start outlining a bit a girl. So that will be her. Here. So I start painting the face using a um, kind of linen color from impasto uh, which is like a beige and this with the white a bit so this paint is so creamy that actually it saves me to use gesso because it just covered just really nice so I want to make sure that somewhere here will be my face and neck just add some bits here Then I dry it and add another Just add another layer and I will add now black with um, liquid acrylics to her hair. With the smaller brush, I will add some eyes. Mm -mm. Wait, that's watery. Okay, just I want to first cut the. And her eyebrows, which they are so specific for her. Um, yep, I'll try it for now. Okay, I come back and add more black to the eyes, a little nose, um, just add some, okay, now what I'll do is I will come in with another brush and add a tiny bit of that orange for shading and that fluorescence pink 
to the lips and cheeks. that up here somewhere okay and try it again Now I will actually come in with um, with a bit of pencil work um, just to define uh, define her a bit and do though. And I always do though with the pencil. So we still have to come back with the white here. And now the clean brush again, and we go with um, clean small brush. Come on, brushes. Okay, and I go with white to add some highlights. I'll be going back and forth with all those colors. Um, like this. And now I will add some kind of bit of crayons as well. And of course the white the light in the eye, um, some highlights in her, um, and I still feel like um, it has to be done more work with, so I grabbed the Karen Josh, whoop, just broke it, I always break them, uh, crayons, and the face needs a uh, feel like a bit more roughness to it. Um, okay, here maybe I even block that color a bit. Maybe a bit of pink. So just here up and um, to add different colors as well to the face um, these are the Faber Castell bead pens they're actually very nice for shading too She is getting um, kind of really nice and do still a bit of pencil work. I don't want her to be perfect, I just want her to have this sketchy look. Um, I really like her. Really, really. Oh, all my pens are covered in paint. 
So now what I want to do is um, I want to put um, some of these chip parts of mine. I may actually just remove some bits in her hair. They'll be coming to AB Studio soon. It's a base and then I will put these gorgeous flowers on her because you know she always had flowers in her hair. I will have to use add some of the paints I think to them um, because I feel like they're a bit too papery And also, I will add more flowers on the other side. Just to give the balance in the corners here. Now, um, Okay, I think it's okay like this and the last touch I want to use this love create to put it in here love shine and create okay and now I feel like um, uh, I need to add some paint to them so I definitely add a bit of white um, just to give some highlights and I will add that um, orange here and there um, so they have more kind of painty look um, my pink um, also hope you can see everything um, So just I don't like the you know just papery kind of look and I will add a tiny bit of that turquoise too. Um just tiny bits just so it's cohesive with the background. Um yep. I think she looks good. And I have here as well a um, fine line applicator with white paint inside. I love using this. It has very fine tip and you can put dilutish um, acrylic paint or ink and it will It will add really cool uh, texture. You can write with it. And also when that all dries, I wanna add a few more stamps and maybe a bit of gold foil. But I, I might do it off the camera. So because the film is getting really, really long. 
So I want to use some of the fins. Um, uh, I think that brush fly maybe here and there. We'll see. But that has to dry first and a bit of gold. And I go back to you. So I added some gold foil as you can see. And I think she is ready. Um, so please keep creating. Don't give up. The better times will come. And just we just need to support each other and distract each other sometimes a bit. Stay healthy and stay safe. See you soon.